In the last episode, we flew to Sydney and began exploring the city. Look at where we are right now. But now it is time to explore some of the suburbs, so we catch the ferry to a beautiful beachside suburb called Manly. Super pretty. A little bit scary, the fact that there's a sign that says shark sighted. We also head to Coogee and walk along the coast to the famous Bondi Beach. It has to be the nicest walk we've ever done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Literally, it's, so it's insane. I feel like the whole day we're just like, wow, this is crazy. Literally has been. Good morning everyone. So today we're heading over to Bondi, which I was just so excited about. I think this is the day in like Sydney that I've been looking forward to the most. So we're gonna go see Bondi Beach, all of that sort of stuff. And we're also gonna be doing the coastal walk, which everyone recommends that you do offshore over there. To get there, we're gonna get a bus, but we're currently just trying to find our way out of the hotel. Apparently it's like a, is it a half an hour bus? Yeah, to Coogee. So we're gonna head to Coogee first, then walk to Bondi. So that is the plan. I'm excited. So we made it to Kugi and this beach, stunning. Let me show you. We have just started the walk. It's actually so hot though. Yeah, I was surprised, to, I wasn't expecting it. So far though, the views are insane. Yeah, it is very nice. I'm excited to continue and see what else we can see. Yep. So nice here and there's like a little pool right next to the sea which you can swim in which I think is so cool. There's one at Bondi Beach which is massive but... I think that's the one that had a shark in it. Was it? Shark, like when it was rough a shark like washed into the But this, pool. this looks really cool here. So we've just come to a place called Bronte Beach and it's I think we're like about halfway. yeah we think we're like halfway on the walk and we just spotted an oak berry and you can't walk past an oak berry and not get lovely a, stuff an acai bowl sorry if it's super windy but we're just gonna sit here and enjoy our little acai bowl that we bought they're literally the best acai bowls if you've never tried one you have to mm. bang bang the nicest walk we've ever done yeah <laughs> literally it's, so it's insane and it's like nice beach after nice beach yeah, after nice beach it's just like one cove it looks so nice next one next one next one like i don't you can literally go to a different beach every day of the week yeah just along this little bit i just like i don't know i don't know what i was expecting but this is like exceeded fact, my expectations I mean, like the fact they've like purposely built this walk all the way from yeah back where we were yeah sick you don't have to like walk on like it's actual paths. Yeah, probably not like the whole, gravel whole, or anything. And literally, literally ninety five percent of it is against the coast, like yeah. right on the edge. Like the fact that this is our view right now, crazy. Yeah, it's very sick. So many people are like surfing, and I don't know. It's just good vibes. It is. We made it to Bondi Beach, and it is crazy here. Like, look at this view that we're just currently looking at. What? Stunning. And then there's the pool down there, which we think you have to pay to go in, but that looks pretty cool as well. But the view from here is just insane. I feel like the whole day we're just like, wow, this is crazy. Literally has been. Yeah. I think this has to be my favourite day in Australia so far. Yeah, it has been well good. It's been so nice. What time is it now though? 
No. No, what time is it? You got another coffee. Actually. Coffee time. Cocktail time, alright. Cocktail time? Yeah. Just come into the cutest cafe ever. Look at the view. What's your drink like? Very nice, very refreshing. Latte. I need nice. two sugars. <laughs> and we got some chips. So we're currently just laying out on the grass. Just went in the sea, but not went in the sea, like paddled. And it's actually colder than I was expecting. But I guess it is like winter, so, you know. And I am also slightly scared of the sea, like sharks and all that, you know, we're in Australia. Jasper says I like, need to stop being so dramatic, but it is a you thing. Do. It is a thing, but the chance of you getting attacked by a shark is probably very slim. You're not going to be out there in the depths, are you? No, that is very true. Or, you know, you're going to be in knee-deep water. Yeah, that is true. Or you get attacked by a bit of seaweed. <laughs> That's enough to scare you. <laughs> it is. But yeah, at least we went in the sea. That was quite cool. But I definitely recommend doing the walk here. Yeah, it's very sick. It's so good. And you just get to see so much along that like coast path yeah like most people do i think what i read online most people do go do bondi security but you could do either because both ends like both places are can pretty cool out, really nice. yeah and it also didn't even feel that long i think it's because there was just so much to see it yeah. it didn't even feel like hard work either and i guess because it break it up you can stop it like the, at like a beach or yeah or whatever you want to do we stopped and got inside but yeah exactly yeah. Yeah, you can do whatever you want. And I guess it was also cooler now, and there was like a, such a nice breeze, so it wasn't too hot. Um, yeah, so so bit, I think it's if a you bit windy in it, but it was yeah, nice. I think if you did it in like peak su summer, like it would It'd be, be so, so hot. But yeah, we're just gonna chill here for a little bit, just enjoy the vibes. Like so many people are sat out, like just like laying on the grass. I love it. I just honestly love the vibes here. Yeah, it's sick, man. This is where we're currently sat, and then the beach is just over there. We made it back to our hotel room and we ended up just getting the bus back. The bus is so good. You literally, it's basically like the trains. You can just tap on and tap off. It was about like a 40 minute bus journey back from Bondi. Um, but honestly, like Bondi was just so beautiful. I can't get over it. Like, it's really weird. I take back every single statement that I ever made when we first arrived in Australia about comparing it to the UK because that is 10 times better than the UK. And I can kind of, me and Jasper keep saying, I can understand why people emigrate here because it is that beautiful. Genuinely, it was the best day, 100% recommend. Um, it would also be quite cool to actually stay in Bondi, like get in a little apartment oh, on that, the beach. Area, yeah. yeah, like it would be so cool. So if you're like, don't wanna come to Sydney or you wanna have more like a of a beachy kind of vibe, then yeah definitely book an airbnb or a hotel or something in bondo anyway i shall catch you tomorrow for another day in australia good morning everyone it's another day in sydney so today we are off to a place called manly you have to get a ferry across and jasper's so excited to get on a boat Woo! Woo! But yeah, I hadn't, I'd never heard of it before, but I saw a TikTok video about it, and because obviously we're in Sydney, I was like, we have to go. I mean, and it's it looks- literally 20 minutes. On what, on a boat? Ferry. Yeah. I think it's like a 40, 40 minute drive or something, but obviously we ain't got a car. But yeah. Ferry's like 20 minutes straight there. Thought me as well, so that's what we're doing today. But firstly, because it's so sunny today, like, don't know if you can see, but it's blue skies. I thought we need to go to the Sydney Opera House because the day that we actually saw it, it was grey, it was cloudy, it just wasn't the best weather so I did want to get a photo in front of it when it was actually sunny because when you're in Sydney, like you just want it to be sunny. Well, um, when you're anywhere, you want it to be sunny. Well yeah, that's true. <laughs> doesn't make the photo look very good, does no. it? No, so I thought we'll go there first, see it in the sunshine, see it with the blue skies and then head to Manly. So, first stop. Sydney Opera House. It's the last day as well. Oh my gosh, yeah, so, had such a mess. I thought we had two days left here. So I thought, okay, we'll have like another exploring day in Sydney and then tomorrow we'll go to Manly. But turns out... Today's the last day. Today's the last day. We got, I think we got a bit thrown off because of when we arrived here, that was meant to be like our first day. Yeah, so it made it a lot shorter, didn't it? Yeah. But, oh well. This is actually our last day, which is so sad, but... It's only because I got an email from the next airbnb saying like pack your bags and it showed the date and i was like what, what? then i checked and i was like yeah that's right so yeah we got a bit thrown off but 
Anyways, today is our last day. We're just walking through Hyde Park, which is so weird. Feels like I'm thrown straight back to London. <laughs> but this one this looks- a bit more exotic. Yeah, there's so many more like palm trees. Look, so pretty. Anyway, this way to Sydney Opera House. That is very cool. in Manly and it's given me like little town kind of vibes but also like beachy very surfery nice. so nice so we literally walked down the road and Jasper spotted a cookie place that sell bakes that sells like freshly baked cookies so obviously got you just had to one. go in so yeah Jasper got a Nutella one, one like good very good would you go for the Nutella one oh, weird. Nutella chocolate chip mm. I mean, it costs about four pound fifty, but it's expensive. About. <laughs> yeah, probably the most expensive cookie you've had. Yeah. But we've just come down to like the main beach, and a little bit scary the fact that there's a sign that says shark sighted. But you know, yeah, that sign's just all like. Is it always there, or is it, mean, it like today? Or I guess it must mean today. I don't know. I'll show you anyway. The beach is so nice. It's a very like surfery beach, isn't it? so big though, look at all the surfers that are out. just had a really long walk basically a whole along the whole length of the beach and we've just come to the end of the beach and there's this pool here they literally have them everywhere in Australia yeah, so they have the pool there and then we literally just walked all the way along there such a nice walk though really nice we're just having a little walk over here super pretty pretty cool location yeah Let's keep going just was making us go in this hole i'm a bit scared what? does look pr this does look pretty cool though like coming out of the end of it wow and this is where it leads to out the other side cool no, let's go back let's go That little rock thing, I was a little bit scared on it. I don't know why, but when you're like on the edge of a cliff type thing, I always just feel like, 
Yeah, it literally We're on was. A rock. Yeah, but you could literally fall and trip into the sea at any point. So I get a little bit nervous. Have you seen the danger sign? No, just but no, just but we can't. I need to go back. I'm like, it will be fine. So yeah, there was a danger sign which led into that little like cave thing that went out the other side. Whoa. And it's called yeah, it's called Manly Wormhole. So if you literally just search on Google Maps it will come up if you wanted to visit it but it was pretty cool but i was a bit like oh my gosh this is so scary we we're both feeling a little bit hungry so we decided to go into this little cafe called cali press and it was like a health kind of cafe and it was so nice in there like the decor was stunning i got a turmeric shot which i haven't had like in ages i've been taking like turmeric tablets but not an actual turmeric shot so that was so nice and we got um a toasty and a salad we basically just shared both of them incredible it was quite expensive what was it like 40 $42. 42 dollars for all of that so a little bit more pricey but overall really enjoyed it it's around like four o'clock so i think we're gonna head back to sydney now get the ferry back across and just go back to the main city so that is what we're gonna do now so we've made it back to sydney and we're gonna have a little walk along kind of like the harbour i think this is still classed as the harbour um just by the water anyway and scenic, it's such like route. yeah it's it. very much a scenic route so let me show you what we're looking at right now like, how nice does this look yeah, that is a really cool shape building there. Anyway, let's walk. So guys, we have made it back to the hotel room and it was so windy. I just was not expecting that on the way home. Like the wind had definitely picked up. So we pretty much headed straight back to the hotel after that. And we've just been chilling out and also packing our cases because tomorrow we go to the Gold Coast which I literally can't wait for. So we've got an early flight tomorrow. I honestly just feel so happy. Like these last days in Sydney have just been incredible. Like I feel like especially these last two days where we've been to like Bondi and all of that, like just that walk yesterday was, I keep going on about it, but it was really like so much fun. And I also feel like we've seen so much since we've been here and also Manly, super cute. Really enjoyed it there as well. And also go to black and white coffee shop for a coffee because it was incredible. And I keep dreaming about it and I keep saying to Jasper, can we go grab one in the morning? And he keeps saying no, because we have to get up too early. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I shall see you in the next video. Bye. In the next episode, we travel to the Gold Coast. We check into our Airbnb in Surfers Paradise. You just can't beat this view, can you? Nah, no, that's pretty sick. And we begin exploring the Gold Coast on bikes. How's bike life going? Have you seen me? <laughs> <laughs>